Hello, 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 my fellow cheese tarnished adventurers. Welcome back to my next installment of my mostly spoiler free guides on where to go in Elden Ring. If you're watching this video, congratulations. You just defeated one of the coolest bosses I fought in the entirety of my Soulsborne experiences Star Scourge Radon. What a battle! Dude, no! God damn it, the f What the f Oh shit! <laughs> I think he's the hardest boss in all of Souls. Anyways, at this point in your journey, there are two holders of the Great Ruins remaining. Morgoth, who lies in the capital city of Lane Dell, to the east of the Altus Plains, and Rikard, uh, the Serpent who is in the volcanic region to the west of the Altus Plains. But where is the Altus Plains, do you ask? I just beat Radon and I haven't found it yet. Where do I go? Well, you kind of have two options there. You can either find both halves of the Dectus Medallion. The other half I actually have not found myself because I took the second path, which lies here at the end of this kind of long river leading out of the Lake of Liurnia. And there's a cave at the end here that you can make your way through to come out on the other side in the Altus Plains, which is this middle area here. So we've got two great runes remaining. Your destiny leads in both directions, west to the Serpent and east to the capital city. It seems like at this point, I've had a little bit more easy access to the capital city. Also, your maiden who you can talk to once again after reaching the Altus Plains also puts a bug in your ear to head towards the capital city to reach the foot of the Erd tree, which she mentioned you should do in the very beginning of the game, if you don't recall. So personally, I'm going to be heading over to the capital city first, and then making my way west to fight right card. But it seems like the game also kind of tells you you can do them in either order you'd like to. That's kind of what you need to set your sights on in terms of the next two great runes to acquire. Of course, there's still tons of map to explore. I'll point out too, where you go to activate Radon's rune is a divine tower of Kaled. And you'll have to do some fun platforming to make your way inside. But this is the area you'll want to start adventuring into now that you've defeated Radon. And I will say as well, now is a great time to go back through Make sure you've got plenty of upgrade materials. Make sure you've checked all your ruins, picked up all your items. You'll find the difficulty definitely jumps up quite a bit once you get into this stuff. So it's always a great opportunity to kind of backtrack a bit, make sure that you've cleared your way through everything. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey guys, Editor Cheddar here. Just wanted to give one more point I forgot to mention during the live stream here. If you head to the south of Lingrave, there's actually a falling star that Radon was previously holding back that crashes into the earth. You'll definitely want to go down there to check out that area and make sure you explore now that Radon has been defeated. So definitely check that out as well. That's where I'm at so far. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of direction into where to go for your last two great runes. The next two videos in my series may come out just a bit slower just because it's a big map and I've got a lot to explore, uh, but I will be sure to include a lot of extra cool places for you guys to check out in the next couple videos uh, as a way to offset the extra time that it's going to take me to, you know, go through this entire world. That's all for today, folks. Congratulations on your victory, and stay cheesy out there until next time.